Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ryan. Come back to another video before today's Super Bowl game. I want to actually take a nice look at Jamar Chase's senior high. Well, it's his junior highlights because he didn't post his senior highlights. So, yeah, let's get right into it. See how he played in his senior year. See how phenomenal he was. Let's see why he was so good that uh, LSU decided to take him. So, yeah. Leave some one on alone to the wide side, which is which shows that they see that he has potential. Moss is a kid, able to get off the field. That's a good play. Got speed and ability to just get up, and he gets into the end, so that's a good job right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see, they have him in a slot, it looks like. Wide receiver screen, pulls in, nice play, and he's able to get a good play right there. Gets a, gets a good block from his receiver, and he's just able to get in and able to make a nice play. That's a good job right there. Wish this was better camera quality. I do say that, like, that isn't, this isn't the best camera quality. Sorry about that. He's just able to make a play. Moss is over him. That's a good job right there. Let's see what he does. It looks like he's going to be, he also returns kicks. Back in high school, let's see how he plays. Let's look at his, okay. Nice job keeping his balance and able to stay on his feet. Able to make a nice, nice, nice job. That's a nice play right there, able to keep his balance. He was stumbling and he was just able to still make a nice play. You know, really wish this camera quality was a little bit better for him, but he just was able to make a nice play, make him fall. It's a good job right there. They like to leave. They put him one-on-one because -on -one they don't want guys around him. Makes a guy fall down. That's a good play right there. Able to get open. That's a good job. You know, I don't know. I don't know if, like, he was well-known, but it's still, like, leaves him in one-on-one -on -one coverage is not the best thing, like, I'd say you would probably want to um, uh, have him double teamed with like a safety or something. That's a good play right there. That's a good play. Bobbled in and was still able to make the catch. That's a good play right there. And see, I was able to build up speed. He was just able to get up and he just outruns the guy. Like, that's a good play right there. It's a good job. Looks like they have him one on one and he's just able to. Create space. Oh, nice job right there. That's a nice job right there. Able to make a catch even though he's being guarded. Nice job. Has two guys on him. I get it. They're in a zone, but he was just able to make space, and he's able to make the guy forget where he's covering. Able to make a nice play. Look, same thing. Both guys. He can't cover two guys, and that's a good play by that's a co good play by the coaches, and he's just able to make space. So he's able to outspeed the other guy. That's a good job right there. Okay, this isn't as correct. This play probably wasn't isn't going to be that impressive because it is a practice game. So he is able to, but he's still able to make space. Does get chased down. Can't tell. Okay, has him out at the line. Looks like they like to run screens with him. They like to run a lot of screens because he's fast and athletic. Of course, that's what you're going to do. Right now, I wonder if that's something that the Bengals are looking to do with him, is run those wide receiver screens with him, because it seems like it worked a lot out with him in high school. I don't know if they did it with him in college, but we'll take a look at that later on after the Super Bowl. But I want to see how he played. But yeah, this, he's got a lot of potential, able to get outside. He's just able to find space. He's just able to make it outside. And he's just able to stay in bounds, actually, and he's just able to make a nice play. That's a good job right there. It's a good job able to stay in bounds. That's what you want from your receiver. You want him to be able to stay in bounds. Look, fakes the block, and he's just able to get outside. Sees it, he's just able to take it, stay on his feet, be aggressive, and try and get more yardage. That's what you want. Kid's an aggressive receiver, and we already know this. But, yeah, this kid's got, he's got abilities. Like, there, there are times where it's just like, you know, you know, he doesn't make, teams are also just not incredibly guarding him for what he, for what, how he plays. If they don't double coverage him, like, kid's a phenomenal receiver. Should have seen that. Look, sees a hole. He's able to make space, and he's just able to. Uh, that, that, that's not a good play right there, but still. Thought he was going to be able to get up, maybe get above him, but he just doesn't. Let's see what he does here. Okay. Doesn't have, like, those short, trappy steps that you want from a returner. I guess that's why they don't put him at returner. Puts him at a running back. Okay, breaks a few tackles, able to get a few yardage, you know. 
motions him um, and around. Able to get some few yardage, able to make a nice play, able to get outside, be aggressive a little bit. And around. Able to get him. That's a nice job staying on your feet, man. That's a good play. And just able to make a phenomenal play. Okay, able to get in. Able to find a little hole, and he's able to just make a nice play. That's a good job right there. You know. I don't, I don't believe he's going to be, like, as good as Jerry Rice. Because with the ability and the time that he was in, like, Jerry Rice was not playing in a passing type league, and he's just able to make those plays. Like, you know, what do you expect? The kid's got abilities to make plays with his feet, actually. And I think the Bengals should try and do that with him. Don't just use him in, the, in a receiving skill set. Use him as in other ways. Like, he's a multi-threat receiver. That's a bad play right there. He could have went up the middle and made a better play. Look. Ready one on one. He can get outside, gets yardage, you know, gets aggressive, able to stay up, and takes a step out of bounds. Able to get around. Okay, that's a nice stiff arm. You know, he is playing at, uh, in Louisiana, you know, uh, a so uh, in a solid program, I would say. But look, not. Not that short and choppy steps. That's a good break of tackle. That's a good job right there. That's a good job being aggressive. You know, he, he, he does do it slow and methodically, I would say. And not like a fast, aggressive pace that sometimes you want. Like, like that's just like an okay. Like, his footwork isn't there, but like, he's definitely grown since for the longest time it's a good job that that's a good play right there by him makes a nice block throws him to the ground helps him get it wide open that's a good play right there by him look gets there able to able to get a nice block it's just able to block him stays in front good job right there that's a good job right there by her. Uh, that's 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 a uh, iffy block right there but th this you can definitely block, I can tell you that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Sees. Gets, gives him a nice block. That's a good play right there. Definitely can block. It's definitely a good quality in a receiver is being able to block. Let's see what he does on the defensive side, I would say. Okay. Yeah, I know it's special teams, but like tackling is more of a defensive style. Makes a nice play. That's a good job right there. He's got he's got potential to be something great. And I feel like the Bengals could actually use him more than just as a receiver. They could use him actually in wildcat formations. And uh they could also use him as like they should probably do more end arounds and all this other stuff with him. But yeah. Thanks guys for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. Peace.